beautiful souls. I hope you're doing well. It's been a long time since I've done a video and this one is long overdue. So welcome to the channel again. Um, I have, uh, I came back from my trip in France two weeks ago. Uh, I went to the amazing Rencontre Galactique, uh, which were organized by Agnès Leray and Chris Esson and all their beautiful um, volunteers that did a wonderful job. It was a great, um, great conference uh, with amazing speakers as always, a beautiful environment. And I really, really enjoyed these Rencontres Galactique. And I had the opportunity before the actual conference to travel to Le Havre in Normandy. And then after that, in the area where the uh, conference was taking place in the southeastern part of France and uh, visited the area and then came back to Normandy uh, where I have a good friend of mine that um, who lives there. So it was a beautiful two-week vacation that gave me the opportunity to disconnect from social media. Uh, I was kind of forced by it because for most of the trip I didn't actually have access to um, in, as to Wi-Fi and since I didn't activate any data there for a long period of time I didn't actually have uh, connection to any form of internet which as you know me I wasn't so sad about it because I've never been a big fan of social media and stuff it overwhelms me quite rapidly but anyway so um but the second part uh, I decided to even if I had some wi-fi to just take some time off and disconnect and really enjoy the vacation and travel around so I I, I did take a lot of pictures of photography with my my good uh, camera and if the those of you who haven't seen those pictures you uh, you're welcome to join my telegram channel at uh, the grounded star seeds uh, where uh, and subscribe there if you wish and um, where you I've posted there about a week ago some uh, many many pictures of the different places I've been to people I've connected with some people's some some um, photos of the Rencontre Galactique, but not so many, uh, mostly of my travels there. So just, you know, just wanted to, to share that with you guys, if that's something that, that you um, feel like seeing. Now, second element I wanted to talk about today is um, uh, this moving to Ireland thing. Uh, some of you have heard about this, some of you haven't. Uh, I will put a little bit of context regarding this affirmation, going to Ireland, moving to Ireland. So when I was a child, um, I've always been um, obsessed and completely fascinated by Ireland, by the Irish culture, traditions. I always wanted to learn Irish Gaelic. Uh, I was listening to, as long as I can remember, my I don't know, my my parents would watch me dance on Irish jigs. And, you know, it was it was a, a country that always um, spoke to my heart. I always felt like home to me. And uh, it was also the case for um, the Scottish Highlands and things like that, but mostly Ireland. And um, actually, I had the opportunity to go to Ireland in 1991 when I was a young woman. And um, I it confirmed in my heart and my soul that this is a place that I was completely feeling like home. I don't know why. And uh, I mostly fell in love with the high cliffs that are typical of the west coast of Ireland. And at the time I went to Galway um, and uh, I was just like, I was crying. I was watching the cliffs and I was crying my eyes out. I felt like such a deep, profound connection to this place. And I had the same kind of feeling when I went to Wesson Island, which is at the east coast of, uh, of France and Brittany, which also um, shared the same kind of rugged uh, landscapes with high cliffs and big mineral world with a lot of, you know, sea foam and North Atlantic Ocean, you know, uh, roaring and things like that. So that's always been something I've been passionate about. And when I was there in 1991, uh, young woman, I said, I promised myself that one day I would go and live back to Ireland on the west coast of Ireland. It was my promise to my heart, to my soul. But then, you know, 30 years went by and life brings you here and there. And, you know, I had 
long relationships and I lived in Canada and I've also had at some point a really strong connection to Berlin in, in, in Germany and that's also a place where I wanted to move at some point but that never really happened and anyway 30 years later um, a few months late a few months ago I decided I really need to really move on with that beautiful project and dream I've had since I was a young woman and even a child <laughs> to move to the west coast of Ireland. But I was a little bit nervous to do so. I mean, my mom passed away two years ago. I was a bit of afraid to leave my dad here, although my dad is very healthy and still working full time. And But I was like, oh, should I leave? Is that a good timing? And he was very encouraging for me to, you know, open my wings and live my life and not stay here for family or anything like that and just live my life. And I've also had good friends who were encouraging me in this beautiful project. So when I went to France uh, in this last trip, I, I don't know, I somehow gathered the courage to to go with my, you know, um, carpe diem and, and follow my dream and say, okay, I'm going to move to Ireland. I'm going to do this move finally. <laughs> um, and so for those who think that it has anything to do with uh, Elena Dunan, by the way, it doesn't because um, as much as I love Elena Dunan and she's a beautiful, beautiful person and someone I know a little bit, um, Elena actually moved, uh, I think, a few months or a year ago. Uh, so I don't even know where she lives anymore. I know she lives in Ireland somewhere, but I don't even know where she lives. So it has nothing to do with, you know, moving to be close to her or anything like that. It's just, you know, she lives there and she probably has a lot of, um, she, she has a strong connection to Ireland also probably because she's also, obviously, uh, she's, she's uh, an Altian and at, uh, she lived in Atla, Atlantis, you know, so uh, since I also did, uh, it's also probably the same reasons why we're kind of um, attracted by these sort of North Atlantic, you know, kind of things. So just just want to put that out there for people who are thinking that I'm going to meet Elena or see her or moving because of her. It has nothing really to do with Elena. It's a dream I had since I was a child. It just happens that she also lives um, somewhere in Ireland. So <clears throat> that's for that. So when I came back from France two weeks ago, I was really into my my project of like moving to Ireland, like so intensely because I didn't want to lose my courage. <laughs> so I decided to really jump into the project. So my point was my, my objective was to actually um, do a lease transfer of my studio apartment, sell all my furniture and leave to, to Ireland with only one a small suitcase, two bags, and go there without even knowing if I would find jobs or a place to live or anything like that. It was a little bit of a risky kind of move. It was a little bit intense. I can be intense sometimes. And as, you know, days were going by, it's funny how the Mela Collective, which is my soul cluster, my guidance, my higher self, basically call it as you want, was really in deeply um, kind of... Um, what's the word, guiding me into this process. And what I was really uh, receiving from my guidance is that moving in such a way was not a good idea. I was not meant to do that in that way. So since my priority since January was harmony and trust in the universe and in my higher self, I decided to follow that voice. So slowly, slowly, just to make a long story short, what happened is that I ended up not transferring the lease of my apartment I'm invited to stay in this apartment and instead instead of just moving to Ireland without a job and a place to live and you know anything I was in, instead encouraged to do things in a through steps in different steps through time so what I was encouraged to do is to keep my one studio apartment uh, one room studio apartment here in Montreal and actually instead do a six months here and a six months to Ireland on the west coast and for example from October to the end of um, of April I would stay in Quebec here in Montreal give me the opportunity to be with my family for Christmas to enjoy the long cold um, snowy winters that I love so much in Quebec because I hate heat. I don't like heat at all. And uh, Quebec is really cold and nicely, you know, snowy, which is something I love. So during those six months in Quebec, I can stay in my one room studio, continue my creative work, work on my book. And I will be talking about that in a minute. I can um, 
uh, yeah, continue my creative endeavors, but also find a little bit of a job, um, a, a part-time job, because I haven't had any really income in the last year, living on loans and things. So that's that's not working for me. So I need now to really find some part-time job in order to, you know, anything just to complement my earnings in order to live, you know, live. <laughs> And um, and then from May to the end of September, the the point is to actually leave with my suitcase and my two bags um, to Ireland, to the west coast of Ireland in Kerry County, where there is these beautiful Kerry cliffs that you see behind me, which are so beautiful. Uh, it's not it's not Galway. It's not exactly the same place I was the first time. It's a little bit more in the south, but it's a region that really, really speaks to my heart. And from there, I could work in a B and Bs or you know guest houses to help with anything, cleaning, tidying up, helping with the garden, helping with the painting, helping with the animals or land if there's any, and things like that, which I love doing because I love harmonizing places and spaces. You know, my purpose on Terra not not only is to be um, a creator, but also transmit information, but also to harmonize things around me and you know doing a harmonizing spaces is something I love to do and what I love about these type of job is that generally you can do that in the morning and then in the afternoon you have your time off to discover the region travel around or just you know do your creative stuff and you know I would go to my cliffs so so that's the actual point so I've decided to do that and that's my plan so the thing is I decided when I since I'm kind of almost at the end of the season here, well, in Ireland, for the touristic season in Ireland, because that's also something that one has to remember is that the west coast of Ireland is a, is a beautiful, amazing, beautiful place, but it's very touristic and it actually lives from tourism mostly, but the rest of the year it might be a little bit isolated and a little bit kind of, I wouldn't say dead, but it, there's less action happening there and, and thus less work. So it would have probably would have been challenging for me to actually uh, try to find work and a, a place to live on the west coast of Ireland for the winter months. So that's also a reason why I'm planning on doing this six months here, six months there thing. Also, for those who wonder how come I could work in Ireland is that my mom was French. Uh, so I have the French passport, so the EU passport. So I can actually work in Ireland uh, without a visa, with you know, without any problem because I have both passports, Canadian and uh, French. So that's something. So, um, so since I was at the middle of the seasons here in Montreal and, in, uh, you know, I thought, what do I do? Do I wait until next spring to just pop up in Ireland and say, hello, I want some work, whatever? Or do I already try to, you know, go to Ireland, see the place, you know, see Kerry, um, have a look at the different villages around, look at my beautiful cliffs, do a little bit of a vacation at the same time, but also meet people in guest houses of the area, see if they need some help this way, this way they can meet me in person, see if they would be interested in having me perhaps for next spring uh, and summer to work with them and things like that. So I've uh, mostly um, worked with um, Workaway, which is a platform of uh, which is really interesting. It's a platform where people who need some help anywhere in the world uh, can, you know, um, help you um, have a place to live and eat for free in exchange for tasks and chores and work. So that's a really interesting thing. And a lot of guest house owners actually use Workaway as an opportunity to have uh, workers for the summer and where they, you know, the, the, the worker have, is provided with a place to live and uh, eat, you know, food. So that's really wonderful. So I've actually had a few contacts now on work, work away and I'm going to, um, so my plan is to go to Ireland uh, sometime at the end of August for two weeks and I will go there in Kerry County and meet some guest house owners, visit my cliffs and just make some contacts there. And this way, when I come back in spring, I'm able to actually work there for six months, hopefully. So that's the plan. And that's the whole story with moving to Ireland. So maybe for a couple of years until, you know, big changes will have, have happened in the world. And I'm going to keep my apartments safer because, you know, we are in an economic situation right now where it's difficult to, if I get rid of my apartment, to find another apartment in the future, you know, that's so cheap and so affordable. So I prefer to play it safe a little bit in this really 
challenging economic situation. So I think it's wiser. So, but maybe over the next two years, if I do my six months here and six months there, I will end up in the end um, just, you know, moving to Ireland for sure in the end, you know, maybe completely forever. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but since I've uh, this beautiful two weeks I had of running everywhere like a headless chicken trying to find if I was going to sell my apartment. Well, not sell, but um, transfer my lease or sell my furniture and everything. I did a lot of cleaning in my apartment. Like I got rid of a tons of things that I had accumulated in the last four years I was in this flat. And so now I'm just left with the strict minimum I need, you know, a table, a, a desk, a, a bed, a little um, bookshelf and my suitcase with my two bags and just a few little objects in the kitchen. But, you know, just the basic stuff. So this way I'm I'm very free to travel whenever I want. And, you know, so so that's that's a perfect way for me to be, because I really want to these next few years to be about traveling and things like that. Um, this is really my I really want to be more mobile and more free to travel in the future, not only on Terra, but one day when we will have had first contact with our uh, upstairs friends to also be able to travel in Nataru like everybody else um, on ships or whatever to, you know, to discover our beautiful galaxy. So that's also something I'd like to be free for. So that's for the whole moving to Ireland thing. Uh, so uh, some people were asking me, what's happening with your project of moving to Ireland? So here's the here's the um, the details about that. Now, second point I wanted to address today, it has to do with um, my project of actually spending a lot of time and I will have some time here during the winter months here in Montreal to I'm wor I've been working for some years now on um, working on a book, if you want, that recalls all the different memories I've had since childhood um, um, as a starseed. So basically, it's the purpose of this book. It's not so much to publish a book and whatever. It's more to to gather all my memories as a child, as a teenager, as an adult. Uh, and lately, mostly in the last four, four years, where I've had a lot of shamanic journeys or shamanic vision quests, which provided me with a lot of memories I got back from upstairs, from my family upstairs, my partner, my twin flame, my son, my adopted son, you know, um, my my soul journey through the Lyran system, the Pleiades, and, you know, a lot of memories that I've shared in my videos already, but uh, not all of it. And some of it uh, I haven't shared with, with you guys, uh, especially uh, some of the shamanic vision quests. And I think it would be an interesting exercise for me Mostly the purpose is that is being a, a, a good exercise for me to put all of these memories together and have and to have like a really good view of everything because I've written uh, I've been journaling since I was a child. So I have a lot of drawings. I have thousands of dreams that I've wrote a lot of memories and things, shamanic journeys, um, uh, accounts that I've written in my journal. So I have a lot of material I could share a little bit like Jean-Charles Moyen is doing a little bit like Elena is doing, but not, not the same thing because obviously I'm not a contactee. Like I don't have direct contact with people upstairs, but what I'm trying to say is that from kind of the French culture I was raised in, like keeping a journal was something that uh, it was culturally kind of normal to do. And so like them as well, I, it's something I did to write everything. So I think it's interesting to be able to, um, yeah, to, to put all of this together into a book. So first I will publish it in English, but kind of immediately after that, I will also share the French version of it. I would like it to be available in English and French. So the, this is kind of my plans for the upcoming months. So um, I'm already quite busy with, you know, um, um, for example, the Galactic and Terran Connection group, which I'm um, uh, moderating with my dear my dear sister Milen. Actually, Milen is doing an amazing job at administrating this group and moderating it. <clears throat> she's doing a much much better job than I am because she's she's so fast and she answers quite rapidly. So I really want to honor uh, Milen's beautiful work on that um, wonderful channel. I'm doing my best to keep up, but you know me, I get overwhelmed by social media and especially by Telegram groups quite rapidly. So it's really tough for me to keep up, but she's doing a wonderful job at it. So just wanted to make a shout out for Milan here. But that's something I'm, you know, I'm doing. I'm also d continuing my videos. I haven't done any CITs lately because I've had also someone, a gentleman here working in my apartment by the landlord 
asked by the landlord to do some renovations in my um, washroom and so because I have no doors here to close like there was no way I could do videos in the last few days as well so that's also why I haven't done any CIT sessions and interviews and you know um, information capsules I normally do with um, the information by Elena Dunan on her galactic contacts and Alex Colliers as well. So uh, I will be doing that again uh, in the upcoming days. I'm, uh, I'm starting that again now that everything's kind of more settled in and I know exactly where I'm going with all this, except for the two weeks when I'm going to be in uh, Ireland at the end of August. But uh, so I just wanted to say that I'm continuing these, these things while I'm writing my book and I'm continuing my creative work. So my my collages, my original collages, which are available on my online boutique, but also the um, the galactic inspired um, collages that I also share in the form of um, um, digital files on my um, on my online boutique at abigailrichard.com. And also, I wanted to say that I'm starting to do back uh, to do some of those uh, drawings I used to do with ink, blue ink. Uh, which are very intricate with a lot of details. It takes a long time to do. Uh, but those drawings I will start doing again because when I'm going to be in Ireland, either for my two weeks or doing the six months that I'll be there, uh, I won't be able to bring with me all my um, creative material for the for the collages because it takes it's too heavy, it takes too much space. So I will be drawing. It's easier for me to just bring some um, pens and, 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 and papers uh, when I'm going to be traveling. So I'm going to be doing these drawings again. So those will be available on my boutique in the upcoming days. I've, I've had a lot of these drawings in the past that I've done in the past that will be put back in my boutique. If that's something that speaks to your heart, uh, you can, you'll, you'll be able to have a look at it. I will share on my Telegram channel when, when those will be available uh, for purchase if you're interested. Interested, uh, but I will also so um, do more of these drawings. So that's going to keep me really busy for the upcoming months, as usual, <laughs> and uh, continue to take my Wednesdays off, off electronics, off social media to keep some mental health and uh, harmonious life, and continue my shamanic journeys and writing. So that's for the updates um, for the last weeks and for the future weeks and months to come. So I look forward to connect with you guys. I will continue to do some interviews. And uh, if you guys are interested in sharing your beautiful experiences about either Agartha, Inner Earth, or um, Upstairs, or Galactic Connections as Starseeds, it will be my honor and pleasure to have you on the channel as, um, yeah, as a platform to make sure this information comes out. So I wish you a lovely day. Take a man's care of yourself and uh, keep your high your high vibes and high frequencies take care bye all my gratitude for helping this channel bring high vibrations and high frequencies to more people Ooh.